Yeah, this is not having a good day. I've just done a check on the amount of drive space we've got left. We are eating more than a gig a minute. We're eating about 1.1, 1.2 gig a minute. I've got um, 155 gig left when I looked. So that's probably down to about 100. Man, he was going off on one there, wasn't he? Let me in. <laughs> Jeez, it doesn't matter if he gets us a bit here. I'm usually panicking when I walk in here. I handled that really well. I'm quite pleased with myself. Um, yeah, so basically the way I see it, I've probably got just over an hour to finish this game. Um, I'm not going to rush, but on the other end, it, it is bothering me that my hard drive's never done so much work in one day. Like, this computer's getting a right bloody drubbing before it gets allowed to retire, isn't it? We're uh, putting it through its paces, and it's still performing. I'm dead proud of this thing. It's done well. And bloody hell, it's going to be seven years old by the time it retires this year. That is not a bad run. And it's funny, because it's named after Alyssa. Well, they all started like because they all have to when you set the network up you have to type a name in the box yeah that doesn't happen um, and so basically I was like well what can I do and I, I used to call them like the server was Jupiter and the rest of them all had names like Io and Europa and so on and I was like yeah well I've kind of run out of ones worth using because a lot of those moons don't really have names um, so I'm like, sod it, we'll just use uh, female names instead. So I dubbed it Alyssa. What the hell is he doing down there? Um, that's a beard him. <laughs> Which might be more useful later on, this third point, I'm not sure. But we can't use it again now, so... Employees member. I have received orders from Ralph and Jim Weimer to kill still more. I cannot continue in this fashion. I killed 10 last week, and this week they want 20. When will it stop? Soon there'll be not a person left in the entire village. I must do something about this. They are to be imprisoned in the kitchen. One of the steel bars on the window can be removed. I do hope that they are able to see that before it is too late. And once they escape, I pray that they will tell the world of the atrocities that go on behind these walls. He's missing his head. Did someone saw it off? Well, that's the scissor twins are obsessed with blades. I love the shadows. The lighting engine in this is pretty phenomenal for its time. Yeah, so, I don't know. That's just uh, odd. That probably the biggest workload the machine has is on the game that it got its name from. I would hate to meet myself as I was back then. But as my life was quite good back then, I'd still hate to meet like myself as I was back then. There's nothing on this side. No, there isn't. Uh, yeah, because I don't think I'd get on with myself very well at all. Like, I'd turn my back on PC gaming. I still have. There's nothing good coming out on it. Um, I'd... I don't know. I was quite arrogant. I don't know. As a teenager, I suppose. Every teenager goes through his phases of uh, that sort of stuff. And I was quite bothered about my appearance back then. I'm going to try and improve that again this year, though, because I just look like a tramp at the minute. 
So right, I'm going to have to try and keep up shaving. I'm going to get rid of the hair off my head because it's falling out anyway and it's just a mess. That door doesn't open yet. Um, so, yeah, we're... Uh, hmm. And maybe buy some new clothes because most of the ones I've got now are practically see-through. I don't care what other th people think of my appearance, but I'm not happy with it now. So now it's a problem. It will be a tight squeeze. Go inside. I don't know what else I could go inside. That would be a tight squeeze. Yeah, no. <laughs> Is nice empty kitchen. What's in there? A skull. I wonder where that could go. Now it reminds me. I'm going to do something now. I'm not going out there just yet. Yeah, this one's kind of fun. There you are. <laughs> oh, panty shot. <laughs> Scissor woman. I've seen your panties. I can see them again. This <laughs> is. The mounds of ash in the pile. I heard that they used to use ash to extinguish fires back then. The fire in the stove is flaring. I think I see something back there. Try using the ash. Yeah. The fire has died out. And that's probably still hot. I know what else is hot now. <laughs> Man, I'm really stuck on that today. <laughs> it might be easier to run back now. There's a point where we can't go back anymore. I'll do it soon. Uh, that crest, I don't think we can do anything with it yet. That on the other end. Return it to its original position. Yes, you can see there's a save point on our left there. Might use that one a lot uh, when you're playing through it. It is uh, towards the end of the game now. You know, this is autumn heading into winter as far as the game's concerned. It's funny, there's like four lots of stalkers and yeah. So this technically would be like winter now, really. Yeah, so that's all the crests. And we could use one, but there's no point yet. A, D and N. Or D A N. It's Dan. Hmm. Hey, you know you can actually... yeah. <laughs> I have trudged around the blasted continent until my shoes are almost worn through, but it is no use. Where is the castle of Lord Burroughs? That is the only place where the mystery of the triangular crest can be solved, I feel sure. It is hard to believe that three years have flown by since I embarked on my journey. I am not a smidgen closer to finding Butter's castle. Meanwhile, I grow older by the day, and my health continues to decline. I am certain that Nancy has by this time found my journals, and realized my plan to seize Alyssa's heart on her 15th birthday to carry out the ritual of engagement. How Alyssa must have grown in my absence. How I wish to be with her, to be one with her. And yet, I do not have the courage to perform the ritual. What do I do? If I do nothing, I am no better than her father. This Hamilton, at least, should have spied. That was incestuous. <laughs> Uh, I knocked the map button. What 
was that? Oh, that was the other room. Yeah, I've never used a map in this game. It just hands you it. It's not like um, that Horton's round where you have to find the map. And even then, towards the end, it won't help you out very much. Oh, this bit's frustrating because I only need the skull to go to the other end of that corridor. I can't get that. I have to go all the way around again. It'll take ages, and I really... Time is not on my side. Yeah, yeah, you're on the wrong side of the bookcase. Now I'm used. Oh, you're a failure. I could just wait in here for the panic meter to go down. Yeah, but I don't have time, do I? <laughs> it's not going down very quickly. It'll probably go down enough. It'll go down here as well. Don't think it'll drop when we're on the ledge, though. I think it's frozen when we're on there. Looks like it. That ghost's still around as well. And that ghost, pretty nasty. Last ghost in the game, that one. Okay, we're just gonna have to keep our wits about us. She won't jump out on us without a bit of warning now. And you can chuck holy water quite far. At least we're not chucking Girati. I mean, that, that would be... Uh, that would make things different. <laughs> Aha, you'll never catch me. I'm faster than you, says a woman. Hey, that's a table where I gotta look at your panties. <laughs> That's why she's mad. This is. Just... <laughs> ah, come on, hurry up. I'm running out of drive space. How much have I got left? Let's so find out. Oh, hang on, there's. Uh, I can't actually see the uh, game at the moment. What's going on? 117. Holy heck. I need to really get a move on. I'm running out of time. Actually, this is quite epic, isn't it? <laughs> what a way to end it. What's going to end first? The game or my hard drive's capacity? Or just its ability to run with the amount of racket that it's all making? Yeah, I'm sorry if this has got lag spikes and uh, audio synchronicity problems. Whoa, where the hell did you come from? Yeah, you can't follow me in here. I wish there was a quicker way around this place. If there is, please enlighten me, because I don't know it. Yeah, that big spiral staircase, we can't go up there yet, so don't even try. There's no point, it's a waste of time. Oh, bollocks. I didn't count the amount of time the credits take either in my estimation. He'll be up here. Whoa! It's happened a few times today, that hasn't it? <gasps> that hurts! Yeah, we can't use that evade point ever again. So, uh, we just have to push on. We'll use a charge score. A bit burnt, buddy, but uh, hopefully that'll do you. Yay! He gives us two items as well, so he's well worth it. He gives us a sigil stone, and he gives us a repellent arrow. Thank you, dead guy. Uh, I'm not so bold about the panic meter here. Hey, thanks. You got me further down the stairs in less time. Okay. Um, see, I don't want to use my items. I hate doing it. There's all those pervy statues. Of course, Scissor Woman will be waiting for us. Oh, no. 
S and M. <laughs> okay, she can't get us out here. But that panic meat is jammed, so it won't go down while we're on the ledge. Oh man, I've been recording half an hour already. I don't know if I can finish this. I just could render some parts off and delete the masters. I don't want to have to do that though. It'd be nice if this program told you how much drive space I've got left. I guess I could stop it when I hit an hour um, and switch drive. I've probably got about 50 gig left on drive C that I can use if I have to. I don't really like using that though. It's not really quick enough, that drive, because it has to run the operating environment and all the software and it's got a lot of stress on it a lot of the time, that drive already. It's not a storage drive, I've never really recorded to drive C. It's not what it's for. Videos get rendered to drive C sometimes, but usually I just use it as a buffer, if anything. Aircrest. Yeah. Weird, creepy music. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. They remind me of circus freaks, them two. We really hear of circuses these days. Shit. Hmm. Those lines in the floor. Those can't mean anything. Machinery is off right now, and we're heading for a cutscene. There is some absolutely amazing CGI stuff as well in this room, but I don't think that's till later. Book of Entities 5. Lords Darcy Burroughs owned much of the southeast England at the beginning of the 17th century. He married Natalia Hamilton. Of the illustration of the illustrious Hamilton family, and they had one daughter, Annabel. Despite his harsh reputation, Lord Burroughs loved his daughter deeply. Bequeathing all his lands to her upon his death. In the fiftieth year of his life, Lord Burroughs, fearing the imp impermanence of life, impermanence of life, learned of the entities and the ritual of engagement. With his daughter almost 15, he made the fateful decision to perform the ritual, but then disaster struck. On the day before her 15th birthday, Annabelle was killed when her carriage rolled onto its side. Shocked by the sudden death of his beloved daughter, as well as his inability to realise the ritual, Burroughs fell into a deep depression. When his despair finally dissipated, it was all replaced by raging anger. Though he had both the coachman and the maid who were with Annabelle at the time of her death killed, it did little to assuage his anger. The massacre of his staff continued, even extending to the villagers on his lands. Lady Burroughs did what she could to convince him to stop the savagery, but only succeeded in inflaming him further, and she too was felled. Lord Darcy Burroughs eventually died, crushed between the huge cogs that formed the mechanism of the clock tower of the castle as he escaped from mobs of angry farmers. According to legend, he vowed to plague the world with hate and terror for as long as the clock tower remained standing. Something is trapped between the volumes.
I have found the Burroughs Castle. I have finally solved the mystery. Lord Darcy Burroughs had a daughter, Annabel, but also a son, William, from his first marriage. Although Burroughs himself was killed, William escaped and lived out the rest of his days in peace under the pseudonym Billy Brown. Billy Brown. What a strange twist of fate. Although I took the Hamilton name when I married Francesca, my father was a Brown, a descendant of Billy Brown, which means that I am directly related to Lord Burroughs. The A, D and N crests also make perfect sense now. Lord Burroughs' beloved daughter Annabelle's name, his first name, Darcy, and his wife's first name, Natalia. My name is Dick, my daughter is Nancy, and my lovely granddaughter is Alyssa. Destiny weaves its web in the strangest of patterns. Does the legacy of Lord Burroughs live on? The fury of he who failed to become an entity? Is it futile, after all, to fight against fate?